A-League teams are finally back in action with the Australia Cup playoffs taking place next week. Newcastle Jets taking on Melbourne Victory and MacArthur FC, the reigning Australia Cup winners, taking on Perth Glory. Both matches taking place, of course, in Northern Territory, which I think is a really cool thing, something different. First of all, let's talk about Newcastle Jets, Melbourne Victory. For the Jets, this is the third consecutive year that they're having to go through the playoffs. They've won one of those playoffs and lost the other one. They have generally have struggled in the Australia Cup. They've only made it past the round of 32 twice, all the way since the Cup started back in 2014. Melbourne Victory, they've had a mixed relationship when it comes to the Australia Cup. They have, of course, won it twice in 2015 and 2021, but have gone through the playoffs. Now, this will be the second time they're going through the playoffs. Last time around, they did beat Perth Glory in the playoffs, and that was in 2021 when they went on to lift the Cup at the end. Let's have a look now at how these teams could line up. And first of all, Newcastle Jets. And this was tricky because we don't really know how these teams are going to line up. We could potentially see some, some major changes in terms of formation and personnel. For the Jets, this is a potential lineup. Michael Wearing goals, of course, they did sign Ryan Scott recently from Western United. That backline of Aquilina, Kankar, Nata, and Ingham. A midfield of Timmins, O'Neill, and Grozos. Piscopo and Steins in there as well. Bahagia. Jets have also recently signed striker Apostolos Stamatolopoulos, so he could make an appearance in this game as well. And for Melbourne Victory, it is a pretty strong lineup that they could be fielding in this game. Uh, Paul Izzo in goals, a backfall of Garia, De Silva, Miranda, and Stefan Negro. Uh, we've got Chapman, Marshan, and Jake Brimmer. If he is fit to play, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. I, I'd be surprised if he does play, but if he's fit, you've got to throw him in the starting lineup. We could see someone like Chris Economides starting in that position. Daniel Arzani to start in this game. He recently signed for victory. Lupule, he featured uh, plenty of times last season and could start in this game. And Bruno Fornaroli, you'd expect him to start for, for victory up top. For my prediction for this one, I'm going to go for a Melbourne victory win. I think it'll be close though, 2-1. It's always tricky predicting these games. We don't have anything to go off. Melbourne victory though, I think on paper, their squad is just a bit stronger. Next up, the glory taking on MacArthur F. And this is a really intriguing matchup. Of course, as we know, the Bulls, they won the Australia Cup last year, now featuring in the playoff rounds after finishing rock bottom in the A-League last season. For Perth Glory, early on in the competition, they were runners-up in the first two years of the Australia Cup back in 2014 and 15, but they haven't featured in the Australia Cup round of 32 since all the way back in 2019. They've gone through the playoff rounds the last three years, and they haven't won a playoff match yet. They're going to be looking to get the win here against the reigning cup holders in MacArthur SC, but it's going to be a tough one. Perth Glory are a side going through a transition at the moment. As it stands, they don't currently have a head coach after Ruben Zadkovic left the club a few weeks ago. This is how the lineup could look for Glory, though, if they do stick with that back five that they were playing for much of last season in the A-League. We could see Oli Sale starting goals. Uh, Khalifi, Elsie, Latchman, Beavers, and Ford, whether Johnny Katrumbas comes into that back line as well. A midfield three of Amini, Bodnar, and Makineff. Would be good to see Aaron Makineff back in the side. He missed uh, good chunks of last season with injury. And then a top two, you could probably expect Ryan Williams and Adam Taggart to be starting up there as well. Plenty of youngsters who could make an appearance in this game as well with Adrian Zimarino and uh, Trent Osler. MacArthur FC are now being led by Miles Tijolski and here's the team that they could deploy for this game. A few new signings for the Bulls. I can expect Kurto to start in goals with a back four of Miller, Uskok, Yerman and Vujica. A midfield trio of Bacchus, Lewis and Devia just playing ahead. It would be great to see Ulysses Devia back from injury for the Bulls. And then Jedru on the right, Danny De Silva. He recently re-signed with the Bulls. He could be playing off the left-hand side, position that he is definitely capable of playing. And then Lockie Rose, really their only real striker at the team at the moment, Lockie Rose. It'll be interesting to see whether Bulls uh, sign someone in the coming days to help out up top. I think both of these sides are a little bit weaker compared to the Jets and Melbourne victory. I think this will be a tight game. I'm going to go 1-1 after extra time. And I think MacArthur go through on penalties. We will be doing live watch longs for both games here on the Coast Watch Football YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss them. Would love to see you guys in the live chat. And of course, drop your predictions down in the comments section below who's going through. Jets, victory, Bulls, glory. Let me know. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.